Hello friends, my name is Theo, and today this exciting Mr. Media tutorial has been brought to you by Skillshare. More about them at the end of the video. So now on to the meat and potatoes of the tutorial, and that is staying organized in Fusion. So you see, this is a pretty small, not even finished Fusion comp, and it's already looking pretty crazy, but there are some things we've done to make it a little nicer. So I'm going to hop into a little simpler composition, and we can get started. So you see, we've got things nice and simple, and the first thing, and this is a question that I get all the time in my tutorials, is how do you get these orthogonal pipes. And luckily this is pretty easy to do. So if I right click in our node editor area and then go down to options, and then I can change this from orthogonal pipes to direct pipes. So this is how it is normally for people, which is fine, but I tend to like the look of orthogonal pipes a little better. So that is up to you. This is a little way to keep things a little nicer or not. The next little tip is using groups. So say we've got a little setup like this where we just have some text that we might want to transform around. This can be, of course, as big or as small as you want. And let's say that we have this, but we don't really need to look at it all the time because it's sort of set. What we can do is select all these nodes and then right click and then go to group or control G. And you see now it puts it in a little group. So all those things are collapsed down into one node. And if we double click this, we can expand it and still move and edit things around. So if we have this, and we can, of course, edit our individual nodes. We can make our text a crazy color. And we can even add more nodes. So if we bring these down and we add a glow after our transform, nice. And we can, of course, collapse this back down again by either hitting Control E or hitting Collapse Group up here. And Control E both expands and contracts it. And next little tip I have is using pipe router nodes. And these, of course, both work with orthogonal pipes and direct pipes. And we add these just by holding down Alt or Option and then clicking anywhere on our little pipe. And now we can move these router nodes anywhere we want. See, this is, of course, good with orthogonal pipes, but I think it really shines with direct pipes. So that, now you can see we can really wrangle these right in place. And not only can they just route things around, but you can also split off from this. So say we could come up like here and have our media out and then we could also have like multiple outputs all split just like this boop you see this way we can keep things a little nicer and the last little tip i have for you is using the wireless link node so here we'll drop down a wireless link node and we use this to instead of using these pipes we can have this wireless node reading back from whatever output of whatever node we want and it'll output just like it was the output of that node. So we can delete this here and those two there. And now you see we've got this input slot for our wireless link node. I can click and drag any node that I want in there. Boop, merge one. And now if we output this to our media out, look at that. It's just like we connected right up from the output of that merge. And one even more bonus thing, let's add a pipe router in here. And we can delete this. We can actually have the wireless node use the output of a pipe router. So here we drag this and drag this in. That's pretty neat. So you can imagine if you have groups off to the side with all of your different, like say you have some text presets and then they come out and then you can transform them around and just have these off to the side because you don't need to really think about them and then have the wireless link coming into your project. That seems pretty nice. And of course you can rename this F2 um glow text look at that pretty nice so hopefully this helps out hopefully it makes fusion seem a little bit less intimidating for you and now if you're having a lot of fun with fusion be sure to check out the sponsor of this video skillshare skillshare is an online learning community for creatives where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey they've got thousands and thousands of class on anything from design animation productivity tips fine art, painting, anything you want. So specifically what you might be interested in is some of their animation classes. So animation, though different in different pieces of software, the fundamentals are the same. And lots of Skillshare's classes really focus on the fundamentals. So for fun, pretty recently, I went through their animation for graphic designers, how to animate a logo class. And this is a great basic introductory for some fundamentals of logo animation. And if you can animate a logo, you can make money animating. So this course is an After Effects, but it'd be a fun exercise to try and translate that into Fusion because at the end of the day, they're all basically the same. So if you're interested in that, the first 1,000 people to click the link in the description of this video will get a free trial of their premium membership, where you can get access to all of their thousands of videos of curated content focused solely on learning. No clickbait stuff, no crazy thumbnails, no YouTube nonsense, just great content 
for an affordable price. And if you decide to sign up for their full premium service after your free trial, Skillshare is less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. So that is a great deal for all of the amazing content that you're getting there. So if that sounds interesting to you, once again, go click on the link in the description, check out some great free courses, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.